top division, the Premier League. An absolutely fantastic racing. Oh no! Down the inside! Down the inside! Oh no! It's still going to that! Hello and welcome back to a TFR Esports video. Uh, it's not a podcast. We have decided to do a bit of mid-season grades for each team in TFR Esports this season. We've got the standings up to the Imola Grand Prix, which was today, and uh, to kind of go off. I'm joined by Logan, uh, who joined uh, about midway through this first half of the season. So we're going to grade each team going from kind of top to bottom so starting off with the reigning champions ferrari uh, logan who you joined mid-season where would you grade them so far i mean it's got to be the d we're below average to, to where we should be yeah that glitch affected me i can't control it in britain but the team's down a lot of points uh d's had a couple rough races we should be a championship winning team and we're not there and we're not even in second so it's got to be below average score a d Interesting stuff. Um, I'll go next to Haas. I'll I'll tackle this one. Uh, so we've got where are we? So Lucchino is in seventh at this point, and Tristi in eighth. Uh, Lucchino did win a race actually at Silverstone, post race penalty for Ewan, and Tristi has picked up a podium himself. But Haas was second in the constructors last season, and here they are now in seventh and eighth in the drivers, and kind of there or thereabouts in the constructors. I'm going to give them a D as well, uh, a D minus actually, because I just think to go reigning champions to them back back end of the top 10, not quite good enough. What about Red Bull, Logan? We'll move on to them. What, how do you grade their season so far, looking at those standings? I mean, it's got to be an A. They're leading the championship. Uh, Percy's leading the driver's championship, and he's going to be consist consistently getting podium. Sam Green's been on good form lately, and he has the pace to give the points they need to. I think they're going to walk away with the championship, and they're doing so right now. So I'd, I'd agree with that. And uh, I tell you, Percy has been destroying his team at this season, Sam Green. It's been quite surprising to see, considering Sam finished ahead of him last season. Uh, Sam Green kind of having to be the Valtteri Bottas or the Sergio Perez to Percy this season. But moving on, and we're going to take a look at... We're going to look at Mercedes. Uh, what do I think about that? So we've got Tochi won the opening race down in 12th, but then Snookster just ahead of him in 11th. They're a team that they... One of their objectives was just to win a race this season. They've done that at the very first attempt. But then from then onwards, they've had a real lack of points. And considering they're a team that did very well last season, and they've got a driver pair in there that probably should be in the top end of the standings, I'm going to just give them a C. They've won a race, which is a pretty good thing, but they've lacked consistency. Uh, so C minus, actually, is probably what I'll give them. Logan, we'll move on to McLaren. So Toyn Coin and Big Boy Juan, where, where would we grade them so far this season? Uh, I would give them a, I would give them a C, you know, they're nice and in the middle. They're capable of more if Twain can have consistent and Ewan can have consistent finishes. You know, they've had some good finishes, some not so good. That's kind of what you would expect from this pairing. So you got to give it a C, but they're definitely, they have the potential to maybe surprise some people in the second half. So it'll be interesting to see what they do. Absolutely. I have to give a little shout out to big boy Juwan. He's had a great season so far. Had a poor Monica race, had some floor damage and had to retire. But he has been kind of one of the breakouts, that, well not breakout, one of the more surprising stars of this season right at the top end of the driver's standings. We'll move on though to Alpine and uh, Arthur down in 16th and his teammate, his new teammate now actually, is Lippy, who replaced Dirty Spy who would have been a championship challenger uh, is way, way down in 20th he's only got 4 points so far this season from 4 races I think uh, very much an E for Alpine, they were looking to be 2nd or 3rd in the constructors, Arthur maybe a bit harsher on him but he was actually going to be the 2nd driver really in that team but he has kind of become the leading driver but then not really grabbed the bull by the horns he's he's not he's only made two races his teammate has only made two races i very much think an e plus for alpine 
and they need a much better second half of the season. What about Aston Martin? Myself and Jenga boy, Logan, where, where would you grade us? I'll give you a beat. You know, you're in that contention for second place in constructors and speaking in terms of raw pace, that honestly isn't where the team should be, but you're letting your consistency shine as a team a little bit and taking advantage of the inconsistencies of others. So yeah, I give it a B. I'll take that. Um, that's not too bad. And yeah, we're, we're all about consistency this season, despite only kind of one podium between the two of us. Moving on, though, we've got three teams left to grade, and uh, I'll head over to Williams. I'm going to give them a B plus, and most of that is going to go to NCL Cam. I think he's absolutely carried that team. Kaya has kind of done what he can. He's picked up points in two races, but then also DNF'd in two races, which will hurt Williams a little bit going into next season. But NCL Cam has been as consistent as ever. He's not been winning a race. He hasn't won a race, sorry, yet this season. But picking up a second place and then just top five after top five is just what he's needed to do. So a B plus for Williams from me. What about Alfa Romeo, Logan? Bottom of the constructors at the moment got to be uh what do you give the lowest an f or an e you know it's got to be there yeah. um if you're going in those two that pairing hasn't really improved in terms of their pace or consistency and they've had a even a shocker to their standards so far this season you know you gotta give them the honest grade there absolutely and um finally uh to wrap this up we have alpha tauri of bavessia and a kind of mix of other different drivers. We've got Jono there, but then we've had a lot of reserves fill in for Alphatari. But Bavessia, he is just, he's been here longer than most, and he's picked up a couple of points this season. But I'm going to go with a D minus for Alphatari. They're not really looking at anywhere near the middle of the field or the front of the field. Um, but they're kind of, they could maybe have that one good result towards the end of the season from a Bavessia or somebody else. Maybe they'll get another driver in and uh, make it a season to look forward to next uh, where they could maybe get some points on the board uh, to plan ahead uh, coming into the next one but that's our mid-season rankings logan thank you very much for that and uh, we'll probably be back at the end of the season to uh, see how wrong we are